Praise God. It's another day with Psalm 91. Okay? Let's start where we started every day. We're going to read up to where we are. And I hope you're reading it every day on your own. The whole Psalm, every day on your own. It only takes a few minutes. And say of the Lord, He's my refuge. All right, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely, without a doubt, certainly, He will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. I get caught. When my thoughts get distracted, if I can't keep my mind on him, he'll set me free from the distractions and the trap of the enemy. And he will deliver me from the noisome, attacking virus, pestilence that comes at us right now. He'll deliver us from it. Amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. I'm going to be like a chick, like a little eagle chick. And I'm going to get under his wings and I'm going to trust in him. And he's going to cover me. And that anointing is going to keep me. I'm going to keep my mind on him. I'm not going to be. See, he covers us so we can't look up and out and see what's going on around us. So that all we see is his feathers. And they're our protection. His truth, the word of God, is my shield and my buckler. I wrap myself around Jesus. He wraps his word around me. I hold up the shield of faith. When bad thoughts are coming, I catch the thought and push it away. Now the next verse. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Thou shalt not be afraid. You see, as you do everything that I've been reading to you in these first four verses, by the time you get to verse five, you will not be afraid. It's a progressive building of your faith in God. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Whether it's day or night, God's got you. God has you. He's on your side. You shall not be afraid. You see, you might have been afraid back in verse 3 when you got caught by the snare of the fowler. I'm caught. I can't get my mind on him. I can't keep my mind on him. But every day, as I say, he's my refuge. He's my fortress. He's my God. In him I trust. I'm under his feathers. I don't see anything except Jesus. I'm looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. And I see Jesus. By the time you get down here to verse 5, you will not be afraid. You know it's out there. You know it's out there in the nighttime. You know it's out there in the daytime. But you shall not be afraid. Why? Because you are dwelling in the secret place where the enemy can't get you. You're under his wings. His anointing is covering you. You are not afraid of anything. Terrors of night? No way. Arrows of daylight? No way. Nor the pestilence that walks in darkness. The virus that comes in the darkness in those places where you can't see it, you, you're afraid, you're afraid, it could be here, it could be there. What if it's in the clothing? What if it's over here? What if it's somebody touched my car and the virus? You're not afraid of the pestilence in the darkness. Why? Because you've been doing Psalm 91 for four days. You've been reading it every day. You've been dwelling in the secret place. You've been confessing the, the Lord is your refuge and your, your fortress. He's your God. You trust in him. You're under his feathers. You're under the anointing. You're covered. You're protected. You're wrapped around Jesus. He's wrapped around you. You've got the shield of faith. Every fiery dart that comes, you're quenching it. You're not afraid. You will not be afraid of the pestilence that stalks in the new day. Nor for the destruction that lays waste at noontime. Nothing will make you afraid. Now here's another verse. We're going to finish on verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. It shall not come nigh thee. Why? Because you are abiding in the secret place. Because you are dwelling. Your mind is on him. Because you are looking to the author and the finisher of your faith because you are quenching those fiery darts that come at your thoughts and you're stopping them 
because you're trusting in him, because you're running to his refuge, because you're running to his tower. He's your fortress. And you know, I trust in him. A thousand shall fall at thy side, 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Now, I want to tell you a story. This is a true wartime story. Two soldiers were out in the field and they were suddenly attacked by the enemy. And the enemy had jumped up in front of them only a few feet away out of hiding and shot directly at one of them and hit him and the man fell on the ground his friend figured he's dead he got shot i saw it i've heard it and he grabbed that man he grabbed his partner's rifle picked it up and started to shoot two-handed with both rifles shooting blah, 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 machine guns shooting and shooting and shooting and they killed the enemies that had attacked them and then he dropped those rifles and he looked at his friend his partner his buddy and, it, and, and his eyes opened up it's like, how is this true? How could this be? And the guy was like, oh, I've got such pain in my chest. He said, how come you're not dead? I saw you get shot. It was only a few feet away. He said, there's something here. And he opened up and he had a Bible in his pocket. And there was a bullet in the Bible. And when he opened up the Bible to see where the bullet had stopped, Guess where it stopped? Psalm 91, verse 7. The tip of the bullet dented. Psalm 91, verse 7. It had penetrated through all the Bible, and it stopped right there. A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it not, shall not come nigh thee. Do you believe he's a God of miracles? He wants to keep us. If we keep our mind on him, he'll keep us in perfect peace. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray that this has been a blessing to you. I'm going to continue more and uh, we'll go more deep into Psalm 91 together. God bless you.